hand and right hand up. Okay, repeat after me. I, Scott Nathan. I, Scott Nathan. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I bear true faith and allegiance. That I bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office upon which I am about to enter. Of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You so much. And to the whole family. Thank Come you. Come on, we can take a family picture. Here's Mr. Jackson. We'll smile under our masks. <laughs> With the eyes. Smile with the eyes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank so you much. all so much. And I'll meet thank you back here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Madam okay. Vice President. Thank you, guys. So I know you all, um, well, all eyes around our country and the world are on Ukraine and, and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And I want to be clear that. Um, we know and believe that this is a war of choice. It is unprovoked, it is unwarranted, and it is unjustified, as the President made clear uh, from the beginning. Uh, if Russia were to take aggressive action against Ukraine, our response would be swift and certain, and that is, in fact, what has occurred. Today, the President outlined the sanctions, which are going to have a direct impact on Russia's economy, both in terms of sanctions and in terms of export controls. Those, the effect uh, will be immediate on Russia, and we will continue, as we have from the very beginning, to work with our allies and our partners around the world. We are unified in our position on this and in our reaction to this unjustified, unprovoked attack on a sovereign nation. Thank you.